Hi, I'm Thomas from Real Guitar. Let's talk a little bit about what it means to be in a key in music and why that's important. First, I'm going to explain just a little bit of music theory. Now, nothing complicated, so don't worry. And it's nothing you really have to memorize or anything, but it will help this explanation go a little more smoothly. First, there's what we call the musical alphabet. We use letter names to indicate notes. Now, for those of you who have been playing for a while, this is old stuff, of course, but I want to make sure we're all on the same page. So we'll start with the musical alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, seven notes. There's no H, so it just starts going back around in a circle, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then starts over, A, B, C, D, F, G. That's supposed to be seven. <laughs> now we're going to take those notes and form what we'll call a musical scale. In this case, I want to use the C scale. So instead of starting on A, we're going to start on the letter C. And it's still going to go around in a circle, but that's what I've written down here. C is the first note, and then go D, E, F, G, A, B. And after B comes C again. You could start right here and just keep going around in a circle. Now, if you say something is for an example in the key of C, what you're actually saying is that if you took this group of notes, that that song revolves around those group of notes. The melody is basically comprised of those notes. The chords are comprised of those notes. So if you say it's in the key of C, you're using notes from the C scale to make up the song for the most part. Another way to think about a key is just by ear listening to what note sounds like the home note or the home chord. So if you're playing a song and you play through it and you come to a resting place that sounds like, ah, oh, that's home, that is likely the key of the song. So for an example, if I were playing something in the key of C, when I get to the C note, that would sound like a rest. Everything else would sound like it, it was still going somewhere. Now, I want to take this just a little bit further and this will help me demonstrate that aspect of it a little bit more. Go ahead and take a look at the scale. We can number the notes, the first one being number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. I left seven out for a reason, I'll explain in a minute. If we make a chord out of the one, the four, and the five, each of these chords will be a major chord. So in this case, this will be a C major, an F major, and the G major. If you're using the notes right out of the scale and you build chords out of the notes in the scale, it's always going to fall as a major on this one, four, and five. Now, this is important because if you play a song and you play the one, four, and five, it's really going to sound like the four and five are kind of setting you up to go back to the one chord. Let me show you an example. I'm going to play Happy Birthday in the key of C. So it goes, Happy Birthday C, two to the five G. Happy Birthday two, back to the one. You, you hear how it sounds like it wants to go back there? Happy Birthday, not in my key. Happy Birthday, I did the four chord. Happy Birthday G five. And you see, if I stop there, uh, don't you feel the tension that wants to go somewhere? Back to C, one. Now you might be thinking there's other numbers in there besides the one, four, five. And you can play a lot of songs with just the one, four, five. So much music has been made with just the one, four, and five chords in a key. But there are other notes in the scale, and that means there are other chords. Let's go to the two, three, and six chords. Each of these will end up being a minor chord. So this will be D minor in the key of C, E minor in the key of C, and the sixth, the A, will be A minor in the key of C. So what that means, if you're playing a song and you used the C chord, the D minor chord, maybe the G chord, throw in an F chord, it's going to sound like it's in the key of C. It's made up of the notes and the chords that are from that key. You could apply the same thing starting on a different note. So I left an example here for the key of G. If we start on G and go through the scale, G, A, B, C, D, E, it's going to be F sharp to make the scale accurate. And starts back to G, goes around in a circle again. Again, if you took the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord, they're each going to be major. In this case, G major, C major, and D major. 
If you take the two, three, and six, that would be A minor, B minor, and E minor. Now, I didn't include the last chord, in this case, the B chord, because that's a little bit different. It falls into the category of what we call the minish chords. And most beginners or people in the early stages don't really have access or use diminished chords very often. So rather than get into that, I'll stay focused and kind of just leave that out for now. I hope this has been helpful. I'm Thomas Michaud from Real Guitar Success. I've really enjoyed having you here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And if you're watching this on either YouTube or on my blog, please go ahead and leave me a comment and hit that like button. I appreciate it. See you later.